Hi guys, in this video I will show you one of my favorite shake effect that I use almost in every edits. First what we should do is, go to the middle of your two clips and then create new solid layer. Make sure your solid layer size is the same as your clips, in my case it's 1080p. Rename that solid to flash and make sure to change color to white and then hit on OK. Cut that solid layers beginning like this. Then go 10 frames forward and cut the ending as well. To go 10 frames forward in one click, hold shift and press page down one time. Select flash layer and press T on your keyboard. At the very beginning of flash layer, click on opacity stopwatch icon, then go to very end of that layer and change opacity to 0%. Easy flash effect is ready, let's make a shake now. Create new adjustment layer. Cut the beginning of it as well. Move it below flash layer and rename it to shake. Enable motion blur and then go 30 frames forward and cut shake layer. Go to very beginning of shake layer and toggle off flash layer for a while. On a shake layer add motion tile effect. We should play around with the anchor point to create a shake. Make sure you are at the very beginning of that layer and then click on tile center stopwatch icon. Increase tile center like in this video. Now go 10 frames forward and decrease tile center. Go 10 frames forward again and slightly increase tile center again. Go to the end of the layer now and right click on tile center and select reset. Let's quick check the shake effect. Everything is fine to me, the only issue is this white edge here, to fix it, toggle on mirror edges and change output height to 120. Now add turbulent displace effect. Change displacement to turbulent smoother. Make sure you are at the very beginning of shake layer and then click on amount, size and evolution stopwatch icons. Change amount to 38, then go to the middle of the layer and change amount to 10. Then go to very end of the layer and change amount to 0. Scroll to the very beginning again and change size to 120. Let's press you to see all keyframes and scroll to the middle of shake layer and change size to 300. Now scroll to the end of the layer and change size to 480. Scroll to the beginning again and change evolution to negative 50. Scroll to the middle now and change it to positive 15. Scroll to the end now and change it to positive 115. Let's quickly check the shake. That looks amazing. Add last effect, directional blur. At the very beginning of the layer click on blur length stopwatch icon and change blurriness to 45. Now scroll to the middle of the layer and change blurriness to 0. Let's toggle on flash layer and check the shake effect. That looks cool to me. I have created 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description. Also I have made some shake tutorials that you can find on AM Film. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.